Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and, and also like Umar, Abu Bakr and these people. When they should have this just by their heart, I want to be like my Nabi and nothing else but my Nabi. I want to be like the, like the Sahaba. The youngsters of today, they are going on the track which I'm telling you is, it is very, very, the, the halat forward, subhanAllah, I'm telling you. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. Because people now, they are now even afraid, they, are, they, are, they don't even want to be associated as Muslims. If that is the condition of first generation, what's happening to third and fourth? Forget saying Assalamu Alaikum when you meet, it's your bro. This is their meeting. The concept of Salam is gone. What element of Islam are we being content with, happy with these people? But we have to make dua to Allah Taala to take us out of this plight. Start Ta'aleem in your homes. Make fikr for your youngsters, for yourselves. If we do not, there will be no difference. The plight will inten- they'll get worse and worse. We will see downfall effects. We will see those people, Zahiran, they are Muslims. But inside there is nothing to do with Islam at all other than name. Holidays are coming up. By think to me yourself like this, all I've worked for my whole life, it will be squandered, thrown. They don't care. Allah, they don't, there's no concept of Allah. There's no concept of Rasulullah. I want to spend where I want to spend. I will do what I want to do. They're not going to look after the mum. Mum's going to an old person's home. All life you work for them, you slave all these houses. With this banner, oh, I'm filling their hukuk. I'm filling their hukuk. You are filling your own desires. You could have stopped at two houses, three houses. I'm not negating wealth. Earn. Become billionaires. But take time out for your awlad. You done 12 hours today? Go home now. Spend three hours with them. Give them time. Let them think my dad is there. I finish off in this last incident. One youngster, subhanallah, he would get money from his father time to time, time to time, time to time. He went to his dad, he said, Dad, can I have some money please? And he said, go away, just stop disturbing me, just go please, you know, leave me alone for a minute. He goes, can I have some money that I want this X, Y and Z thing? So he said, look, I've given you all this, I've given you this, what more do you want from me? The child goes. After a while, the father thought to himself, Ya I shouldn't have gone on like that. He's my son, I should let me go and say, speak to him. So he went upstairs after about half an hour or so, spoke to the son and said, Son, what's the matter? What do you want? He said, I want X, Y, and Z amount of money. And uh, subhanAllah, the question the son was asking was, Father, how, how much do you get paid an hour? And he goes, what's it to do with you how much I get paid? This was why he came to disturb him, I want this. And I was asking, how much do you get paid an hour? The father goes, how, what's your business how much I get paid an hour? And he said, no, I, I just want to know. And he told him, I get paid roughly this much. Are you happy now? Go now. So then after each other, he went to see his son and asked him, look, what's the matter? And he said, oh, this is my heart. I, I, I just want a bit of money from you. So when the father gave it, he said, what son, what do you want the money for? He said, you know, dad, we haven't spent time, father and son, for six months. I'm saving up money so I can buy one hour's work from you. One hour's work. Why? What's wrong with the Muslim? I'm getting enough money just so I can save up one hour. So I can give it to my father, so my father can spend some time with me. Allahu Akbar. This is the condition of our people, Allahu Akbar. We have to understand, our youngsters are near, they want us. They need someone there, they need that shafqat. They need that person to be there, hold them and call them their son. Call them their beloved. Be there at the time of need. Comfort them in the time of need. Money won't help them. Money won't assist them. These are things which will come and go. The real thing will be that, that bond, Islam, Deen, Allah, Allah's Rasul. This is the only thing that will help these children. So my dear respected brothers, I humbly request, custom line up and I will touch everyone's feet if necessary. Go home, spend time with your children. Take them out in Jamaat, spend some time with them. Bring them to the masjid, spend some time in some shuyul's company. Do something. Because before it gets too late, before it gets too late, because this is our most valuable sarmaya, this is our most valuable thing we have. Wallahi, this came really, I really request everyone, please make some worry and concern before it gets too late. Once the nuqsan has begun too much, there will be no U-turn. 